birther conspiracy peddler and racist Steve King knows who to blame for the politics of, position, uh, of division. Who does he blame? Get ready for it. Obama. I do want to put some of this at the feet of Barack Obama. He contributed mightily to dividing us. Mm, I agree. Oh, I do agree. On our differences rather than our, our things that unify us. Mm. And this is some of the fruits of that labor. Uh, it's Obama's fault. It's Obama. It, 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 his, it's him. He's, he's why we are so divided in America. He's a great divider. Really? I, I feel like now, especially with Ted Nugent coming out and saying, I'm going to tone down my rhetoric. It's, it's, it's too much. We're, we're just so divided now. I'm, I'm going to tone it down. I feel like right now we're being subject to a major gaslighting experiment by the right wing. Like, oh, you guys are the ones that are sowing all the hate and division. Where we didn't, but you know what? We're gonna tone it down anyway, just because you know we we got to get back together. We gotta we gotta unify the country. It's like they're asking, like, how much can we fuck with people's heads? I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Now, look, Steve King is a guy who believes. And has spread the belief that President Obama wasn't actually, uh, wasn't actually a, an American. He was not an American citizen, so he had an illegit illegitimate presidency. That's insane. And now, look, uh, look, you don't believe me? You might not believe me? Okay, well, let me, let me give you some of Steve King's greatest hits. I looked into that before he was sworn in for the presidency. We went down into the Library of Congress and we found the microfiche there of two newspapers, only two newspapers in Hawaii. Each of them had published the birth of Barack Obama. I believe his birth date is August 4th. This was published on August 11th, if I'm not mistaken. But in any case, it would have been awfully hard to uh, fraudulently file the birth notice of Barack Obama being born in Hawaii and get that into our public libraries in that microfiche that they keep of all the newspapers published. Uh, that doesn't mean that there aren't some other explanations on how they might have announced that by telegram from Kenya. They will say to me and others who defend the rule of law, we have to do something about the 11 million. And some of them are valedictorians. Well, my answer to that is, and then, by the way, their parents brought them in. It wasn't their fault. It's true in some cases, but they aren't all valedictorians. They weren't all brought in by their parents. Uh, for everyone who's a valedictorian, there's another hundred out there that um, they weigh 130 pounds and they've got calves the size of cantaloupes because they're hauling 75 pounds of marijuana across the desert. I mean, I'd ask you to go back through history and figure out where are these contributions that have been made by these other categories of people that you're talking about? If, that what, where did any other subgroup of people contribute more to civilization? Than white people? Than, than Western civilization itself that's rooted in Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and the United States of America, and every place where the footprint of Christianity settled the world. That's all of Western civilization. Oh, what about Asia? What about Asia? And the President of the United States is doing this. Why? I don't know if either any of them are reasons. I can tell you that his vision of America isn't like our vision of America. That we know. Now, I don't assert where he was born. I will just tell you that we are all certain that he was not raised with an American experience. So these things that beat in our hearts when we hear the national anthem and when we, when we, when we say the Pledge of Allegiance doesn't beat the same for him. This is a guy who's out there saying now, that man, I wish that Barack Obama guy hadn't been so divisive. You want to look at who's been dividing America, Steve? Look into the mirror, buddy. The problem starts with people like you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.